Hello grandchildren. I am glad to welcome you in this cool video, in today's issue you will find a lot of interesting and exciting things. Thanks to everyone who subscribes to me and comments on the video, I am extremely pleased. Therefore, in honor of this, I hang signs with your nicknames on this beautiful wall that we will build today. You can become one of these guys, so be sure to subscribe and write comments. After many years it will be nice to see your nickname, and for this you need to press only one button, so I believe in you grandchildren. Get comfortable, we're about to start. Today we will be doing different things. The first thing we should do is build a warehouse to store resources. I don't want to make it hyper beautiful, so I'll just put up a square booth and fill it with chests, and when we improve and restore all the buildings, I will definitely deal with its arrangement and alteration. The second thing we need to do is completely level our territory. We will be engaged in terraforming, lowering the ground somewhere, and raising it somewhere, in order to get a perfectly flat piece of land as a result. The third and probably most important thing is to make a huge wall of stake walls. We will do this around the perimeter of our entire territory, after which we will level and decorate everything. And the last thing is to build some kind of building so that you can store food, so that you can put a fermentation barrel there, so that you can cook and so on. Let's not delay, let's get started. First of all, we collect everything that has managed to be smelted, and we also throw in new or so that all the metal is smelted into ingots and is ready for use. We will plant all oak seedlings near the house so that we can have fine wood later. We create an additional stone axe because we are going for a tree and our bronze axe may break. Therefore, it will not be superfluous to take an additional axe with you and now go to cut down the forest. We also create a boar jerky. It would be better to make food to increase stamina, but so far this is the only dish available to me. We will be content with this. We also plant carrots in order to cook carrot soup in the future, which will restore a lot of stamina. And also since we have a troll hide, we improve our cloak, anyway we have nowhere else to put the hide. It's time to go for a tree to build a palisade in a warehouse, we need a lot of wood, so we definitely need a cart. In addition, we will go to the forest a lot and definitely more than once. Arrived at the place, we start cutting wood. The first batch is ready, we take it all home. The next day, I plan to build a warehouse, and this is the ideal place for it. Therefore, we demolish the hives and begin the great construction. We put the hives here for now. I also want to build a wood shutter to enter our garden. 
Spoiler, the rest of the time I will just jump over it. I start leveling the ground for the future construction of a warehouse in this place. We will also have to remove everything from here, so as not to interfere with the construction and functioning of the warehouse itself. Therefore, we remove the stone, fires, chests and simply transfer it all to another place. I put the chest in place and put everything that fell out into it. This is how we manage to level the territory. We need a forge nearby to place the cauldron, so we move ours and plant it nearby. Our kitchenette is ready, in the future we will make a full-fledged building for cooking and other things related to food. I leveled the area for building a warehouse, now I will move this log for seating and start building the frame. Good night grandchildren. We have accumulated a lot of metal, and now it all does not fit into the chest, so I decide to immediately convert most of it into bronze to save space in the chest. Done, here is the amount of bronze we made. I think it's not bad and should be enough for the rest of the bronze needs. We break the old chests on the second floor, because they will no longer be useful to us. But additional wood will never be superfluous. Well, here I temporarily put these chests in order to stack wood and unnecessary resources. We start building our warehouse, I don't want to make it some super beautiful and fancy. It will be just a box with a roof where I can store resources, in the future I will definitely upgrade this building, and now this small warehouse will be enough for me. This is how my frame turned out, so we continue construction. Super, in my opinion it turned out quite well, we will make small supports at the bottom and continue construction. I place these columns and gates, and at some point I run out of wood, so I do housework with a stove and carrots and I have to go to the forest again to get a tree. The next day, I take my cart and go to the forest for a tree. Now we are going home, I think this tree will be enough to build a warehouse, and hopefully we will be able to install at least part of the stake wall using this tree. We continue to build this warehouse. 
we finish this part and proceed to the construction of the roof. As I said, I'm not going to do something super beautiful, it will be enough for me that it will be convenient, functional and it will work. Put our first chests, they will be placed like this. And now let's deal with such a simple roof. I will not bother with it, it is enough for me that my chests will not rot from the rain. Super, the roof is ready, which means that the foundation of the building is also completed. Now it remains to place chests inside, put torches and tablets, and you can use this warehouse with pleasure. Now we place all the signs in the same way as this one, and let's go to start building the stake wall around our growing village. Also throughout this episode, I will periodically collect and plant carrots so that I always have it in large quantities. And there is always a lot of carrot soup. And now I'm once again going for wood. Now to build a fence from stake wall. I first cut down all the trees, and then I extract wood from the logs. By the way, these are the trees that we planted in the last episode, we use them to build the stake wall. I think that's enough for us, so I'm coming home. Put everything in chests. Well, this is a chest with a tree with which we will build a stake wall. And now we will start to level our territory a little in order to further protect it with stake wall. Here we leveled it a little, we will not stop there and continue in the same spirit. A little tired of working, so I decided to brighten up my atmosphere with a historical confrontation between a log and a grapefruit. Of course, I am a fan of the log, so I help him a little. The end of this legendary battle and the end of the log and grapefruit. So far I have dug such a trench or ditch. At this level, when I level the ground, I will put a stake wall, this is a kind of guideline for the future fence. I leveled everything, so I continue to do the same in the opposite direction. And by the way, I did not dig this ditch diagonally relative to the north and south, so I do everything straight to avoid any problems.
Here I am again digging a ditch for marking the stake wall. Everything that is inside, I will also align. And initially, I generally thought that I would not level anything and would build on the territory as it was, but there were two big differences and I decided that I needed to do terraforming and then build a fence. I will need stones to raise the earth in some places, so I will collect all that I have and in the future I will use them. I'll create some jam, because I don't need food to replenish hit points for digging and other activities. But food like jam or carrot soup will be very useful, because it restores a large amount of stamina. And because of this, I get tired less often and can do more work. In addition, the stamina itself is restored much faster, so eating meat is a mistake, and jam, carrot soup, mushrooms, honey is what you need. Now we replenish vigor and go ahead to work again. By the way, I collected some carrots and now I want to cook carrot soup. I'm sure it will go much faster with it. It takes a lot of carrots for this soup, but I have a large garden, so soon I will have chests full of this soup. Do you remember we planted oak trees at the beginning of this episode? So they have already grown and we chop them and get a large amount of fine wood. We move the tree closer to the place from where we will start building the stake wall and let it be here for now. Well, I'm approaching the final level of the ground on which the stake wall and our entire territory will be located. And it never hurts to practice archery, especially when the reward is deer skins and deer meat. All the same, I decided to start building the stake wall from here, so I moved most of the tree here again. For trees are required to build one stake wall. This is relatively small, so I'm sure that the wood I have will be enough to build a wall of stake walls around the perimeter of my entire territory. It turns out quite well, and pretty quickly, which cannot but please me. When I planned this episode, I thought that going to the forest would take a lot of time, but I will spend much more time on terraforming. And you know, I don't regret it at all, because the flat area is the basis on which in the future I will be able to build new cool buildings, various buildings, decorations, and so on. I will make the village of my dreams in Walheim, and I will have great pleasure from it, just like you when watching this video. We continue building. In this place I plan to make a gate for leaving my settlement. For now, there will be one gate here. And in the future I will make additional ones on all sides so that I don't have to break the stake wall every time if I need to get over to the other side.
Here I try on the gate and see how it will look with stake wall. Like this, just right, as for me this is an ideal option, so we leave it and continue to build the stake wall in that direction. Well, in this place we make a 90 degree turn and continue construction in the same way. This side is almost done. The hardest part for me will be to build the stake wall further because the ground level is very low and I will have to use my huge reserves of stone, and fill up the ground to the current level in those territories where there is not enough of it. Therefore, as always, I will start with the frame, and after that I will fill everything else inside the walls. Well, having slightly leveled the area around, I start to raise ground to install a stake wall on it. We take the amount of stone we need and continue to raise ground. I roughly continue to create markup. In the future, I'll make sure to fix this. The basis is almost ready, it cannot but rejoice. And now we align as planned. After I leveled everything, it's time to continue building the stake wall, so let's not waste a minute. I was doing stake wall and all of a sudden the forest starts to move. I did not immediately understand what was happening, but as soon as I understood, I immediately ran to find out what was happening behind my land wall. Well, I decide to just stand on top and shoot them, this is the safest option for me. Oh no, oh no 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 no. I'm falling down, it's very bad, but I'm a viking, and this bunch of grapefruits is not a hindrance to me at all. It was scary, but everything is fine, now I will quickly finish with them and I will finish building the stake wall. Great, we collect the loot that has fallen out of them and go on to do our job. I still needed a tree, because mine was almost over. Going to the forest to cut wood. Let's go home, this tree will be enough for me.
we get vivacity and back to work. We have almost completed the construction, there is very little left. Perfect. We have finally completed the construction of our stake walls, now our, although still a small settlement, is protected from all sides, and practically nothing threatens us. Plus, we won't get any damn grapefruits, which is good news. Now it remains only to level all the ground inside our wall and you're done. The remaining tree is put here, it will definitely come in handy for us. Now we take our stone and proceed to raise ground. This is how we manage to level the territory, we will not stop there and continue. I almost completely filled up this huge hole, now it all needs to be leveled. I have finished with that part of the territory, now I need to remove the extra land from here, which I am now and will do with my bronze pickaxe. Don't forget about the carrots. Great, done. Little by little we move forward and remove the excess land. I get relatively little stone, but it's still a nice amount. I also clear the area of all stones, trees and stumps. I have finished digging out the extra soil in this area, so I'm starting to level it. I almost perfectly leveled the entire territory, there really is not much left. The only place where there is still a lot of land left is near our new warehouse, after everything else is leveled I will move there. This will be the last part of our global terraforming. I really like the fact that everything is perfectly smooth, now it will be much more pleasant for me to live in our village. Now it's time to remove the land in the place I was talking about, there is a relatively small area, so it will be relatively fast. I finished, so it remains to align as well as the previous parts of our territory. Finish line.
Super, I like it. We are also building the hives that we dismantled earlier, now they will be located on this tree. Looks great, I like it. Now we need to remove the ground around the stake wall so that it can't just be jumped over. Great, we're almost done with it, however in some places I dug too much and it turned out to be a huge moat, so far without crocodiles. But on the other hand, this is not bad, the enemies will fall into the pit and will not destroy my stake wall. I was often attacked by enemies, and throughout the series the forest began to move, so I decide to make a bronze shield for self-defense. I have a lot of bronze, so this thing will definitely not be superfluous. I have a lot of wood left, and I decide to build some kind of building. Most likely I will put all the things and objects related to food there, put a barrel for fermentation and make something like a kitchen. Such a frame turned out, so we continue to build. The floor is ready. I made such a ring from below around the foundation, it looks unusual and quite interesting. Now I start building the roof. The roof with decorative dragons is almost ready, and I am building the entrance to this house. This is what the design would look like. The building is almost ready, so we put a decoration in the form of a three-headed dragon on the roof. Looks very cool to me. And also instead of the usual door, I decide to hang yellow banners so that they act as curtains. This is a great alternative to a door, and I really like this entrance. We will be filling this house in the next series, be sure to put a barrel for fermentation and a lot of cool things there. And now around the tree I will plant some grass so that it does not look like I live in some kind of swamp. This episode comes to an end, grandchildren. In the next episode, we will continue to deal with our territory, but we should not forget about other things. What I'm talking about is that I've been at home for too long, even though it's high time to swim and challenge the second boss. Therefore, in the next series, I plan to finish all my affairs regarding the territory, home, food, and so on, and finally build a ship and go on a journey to explore new biomes, locations, and islands. I'm already looking forward to doing this, so I hope the next Walheim series comes out very soon, grandchildren. Do not forget to like, comment on the video and subscribe to the channel, and then you will have the opportunity to get into my video, and even imprint your nickname on my new stake wall. Hugs to all, grandchildren, and thanks again for watching. Bye.